Right, okay, so what we need to do here is look at the mean, mean, median, and mode. Uh, but you're gonna be looking at it uh, when you're just given a bunch of numbers, but also when you've been given some kind of a graph or some kind of a, a graphical way of showing the numbers. So first of all, let's fill this in. How do you find the mean? The mean is just the average. Okay, so what you do here is you add up all the data or all the numbers and then you divide by how many. Okay, so if there were 20 numbers and I added them all up, I've then got to divide by 20. Okay, but just as a little, a little aside here, if I've got this number plus this number plus this number, that's how I do that. Okay, so if I've got three numbers, I've got to get that before I hit the divide. So you can put brackets in or you can hit equals, but if I just go that plus that plus that and divide three, your calculator is only, is going to do that bit first, then add those two on. Okay, so that is to be avoided. This is wrong. Okay, so don't be doing that. This is all about central tendency, or in other words, uh, where where the middle is. Okay, if you've got some data, okay, where is the middle of the data? So, you, you know, your, your answer should be somewhere in the middle. All right, so median. Median is basically the middle when everything is in order. So it's the actual middle number when everything is in order. So how do you find it? So step one, uh, rewrite the numbers from smallest to biggest. Okay, you've got to get them in order. And then the median equals the middle number. Now, more about that in a minute. Okay, how do you find the mode? The mode is the easiest one of all. The mode is simply the, the number uh, that occurs the most. All right, now, so you don't have to do any math so that, you just gotta read it off. Now, here's the thing, okay, you can actually be asked what is the modal amount. All right, which means what is the mode, okay? So if the question asks what is the modal amount, that's that's what they mean. All right, so let's let's have a look at this last one here. So this is page 22 of your of your workbook. Okay, I'm gonna just focus on that. All right, so I've got to find the mean, the median, and the mode. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna put them in from, from smallest to biggest. Okay, so now when you're doing that, it's really handy to cross out the ones that you've rewritten. Okay, so I've got zero. Okay, here we go, zero, boom. There are two ones. Two ones. Uh, how many twos have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. They're gone. And the rest are threes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So that's the data written from smallest to biggest. Let's just check for a second. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 numbers. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, it's good to just check that because, you know, it's a bit of a mongrel if you miss out one or add, a, add one by mistake. All right, so how do we do this? The mean. All right, so the mean is just add everything up and divided by however many there are. There are 14. Okay, but the total divided by 14. Okay, so when you do it in your head or whatever, it doesn't matter. So zero is zero, one plus one is two. So I've got 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six lots of two there. So that's 12 plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Six lots of three, which is 18. So that's 30 over 14. Okay, so the total is 30. Adding all these up gives me 30. And there are 14 of them. So I just go 30 divided by 14, 2.14. Okay, so that is my mean. All right, so what about the median? Okay, so now here's the thing. The median is going to be the one that is dead set in the middle. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we've got 14 numbers. Okay, if you have an even amount of data, it's going to be uh, halfway between the middle two. Okay, so half of 14 is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the first seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the second seven. Okay, so it's right between two and two. Now in this case, Okay, so 2 plus 2, what's the average of 2 plus 2? Well, gosh, that's C equals 2, so that's easy. But, let's say if it went 2 and then 6, or 2 and 3, rather. If it went 2 and 3, it'd be 2.5. You'd be averaging, you're finding what is in the middle of those two. Alright, so that's median. The mode, simplest one of all. What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos, but we've got 6 threes. So the mode is three, okay, because it occurs six times. All right, so that's how you do that just from some data. But if you look at the next page, we've got this kind of stuff. All right, so this one's pretty simple. Identify the mode from the following data sets. So this one occurs the most often. So that one there. The mode is 1. Okay, just looking at the one that occurs the most often. That's that's a no-brainer. Okay, but if you go down to here, for the for the data in the following stem and leaf plots, okay, so you've seen these things before, but let's let's unpack it, okay? So um, 0, 8 means 8, 0, 9 means 9, 1 and then 2 means 12, 1 and then 7 means 17. That's that's what that says. So what these, what these things have done is they've actually put the data in order for you. So the data actually goes 8, 9, 12, 12, 13, 15, 17, 24, 26, 29. Okay, so it's just a nifty little way of putting the data in order. So then you just go and find the mean, the mode, and the median based on that. Okay, so for instance, I know there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten numbers. So what I would do, I would go eight plus nine plus twelve plus twelve plus thirteen plus fifteen plus seventeen plus twenty-four plus twenty-six plus twenty-nine. Okay, and that's the total. You do that in the calculator, and then you divide by ten because there's 10 numbers. And that would equal the mean. Okay, so that's the two types of questions. You need to know how to do those from just a bunch of numbers like that, or from a diagram like that. Okay, get to it.